So some of you guys may not know this, but I'm fluent in Spanish, obviously English, and now even whale. We've long known that whales talk to each other. They relay messages to one another through acoustic signals that come in the form of clicks, whistles, and calls. And the variations of these communicate different messages. Much like in human language, we use different words to make up sentences. But new research shows that some whale talk may be even more complex than we originally thought. First off, whales exhibit vocal learning, something found only in a small number of species, like birds, bats, elephants, dolphins, and some primates. Nope, sorry, your dog doesn't fall in this category. While dogs may bark to communicate, the reason this is not considered vocal learning is because dogs cannot manipulate their bark sounds or learn new barks via imitation and modification. But whales can. They can learn and replicate new sounds they encounter from other whales. Basically, whales can learn new words. This ability to manipulate sound and learn from others has actually made whale language differ in different parts of the world, like regional dialects. The dialects are made up of codas, which are specific sets of clicks with varying pauses in between that communicate messages. And these codas vary based on where the whales are from and who they hang out with, which researchers suggest marks cultural acquisition. These codas seem to be passed down in communities and altogether make up a specific form of language. In a recent study published in Royal Society Open Science, researchers recorded the vocalizations of nine different Caribbean sperm whale groups over the course of six years. By analyzing thousands of coda recordings, the researchers identified 21 unique codas. One of these, the 1 plus 1 plus 3 coda, was produced in exactly the same way by all nine groups in the Caribbean. But this is not the case for other sperm whales. Sperm whales outside of the Caribbean produce different codas. So the researchers suggest that this 1 plus 1 plus 3 coda acts as a regional dialect. Orcas are another whale species with similarly rich vocalizations. As reported in an article published in Animal Behavior, when researchers studied four different populations of orcas across the North Pacific Ocean, they found that each community within a specific geographic region produced a set of matched vocalizations. But these sets were slightly different from one another. Though they had the same general structure, the variations in how these sets were produced could differentiate wells from different families and regions. If we're talking people terms, this would be close to what we consider an accent. Similar to how humans can sort of tell if a person is from the UK versus the US when they both speak English. And one study even found that orcas can learn to speak dolphin. In a study published in the Journal of Acoustical America, when 10 orcas in captivity were split up to be housed either with other orcas or with bottlenose dolphins, researchers noted that the three wells that were with the dolphins began to vocalize using more whistles and clicks, just like their new friends. But the seven other wells who were housed with their same kind did not. That they can pick out and imitate other cetaceans' patterns is incredible. But we're just beginning to understand the complexity of wells' vocal learning, and a lot of our current knowledge on dialects and accents relies on recent studies with sperm wells and orcas. So more research is needed to really get how and what these guys are saying. But if you want to know more about their dolphin friends and how they give each other names, get the scoop here. Scientists at the University of St. Andrews developed a way to track the whistles of wild dolphins, and this opened up a whole new world. It's not just that each dolphin has its own whistle. That in itself wouldn't be unusual, but rather that these whistles are actually names of other dolphins. Do you have a favorite accent in your language? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe to DNews.